Okay, this is JDS Sport Talks video. This one's gonna be a real quick one again. It's just talking about Mad Jack Door and what's happened in the last few days with him. So, for whatever reason, something's happened in the last little while for him. I don't know what's happened, to be honest. I haven't researched that much into it. But he seems to have got the press and decided to take a plunge into the Yarrow River. He's fractured his, not fractured, he has um, shattered his hip. I've forgotten the name of the bone all of a sudden. He shatters his pelvis. That's it. He shatters his pelvis, and the main reason I'm making this video is one, just to support him, hope he good recovery and gets over whatever problems he's facing in his life. But I want to talk about people from the AFL and psychologists and stuff outside the AFL. Let's see, let me go back to my camera. Outside the AFL, saying that there should be more done for the players through the AFL to help their mental state. And in my opinion, that's, that's just not the AFL's job. That's the player's job to go to psychiatrist if he needs help or if he needs someone to talk about something happening in his life. He should go to a psychiatrist. It shouldn't be the AFL's problem to try and to keep the players in good mental health. Maybe with the clubs, not the AFL. The AFL should have nothing to do with it. If the club feels it should, then but that's not our, not our, no, I should say our, that's not the AFL's job to take care of players mental health. Like if you're just an everyday person, like say you're an accountant or you work at Coles or something, whatever you do, you, it's not their job to make sure you're in good mental health. It's not different for an AFL player, it's still their job. In the scheme of things, it's just their job. There may be an AFL player, it may be famous and all this, they may make a lot more money than most people do. They still have a job, it's nothing more really. It's just they're well known and it's they're in the spotlight. Does not mean they suddenly need someone to look after their mental health more than anyone else. If they need help, they can go to a psychiatrist. I'm not against them trying to help them or anything. They get the wrong idea here. But I just think people complaining that the AFL doesn't do enough for this is stupid because it's not their job to do. If they want to help them, go ahead, it'd be better for everyone really, but it's not their job to be forced to help players' mental health. Um, I hope people, uh, if the AFL do like decide to help them, nothing against it. Feel free. I have nothing against you helping them. I have gained people forcing you to help them and complaining when you don't help people with mental health issues. You can suggest people to go and do things, but I feel it's not your job to... So, it's not your enough of your job, if this makes sense, for people to tell you they aren't doing enough, because it's... Wait, let me rephrase that. It's people don't have the right to tell you that you're not doing enough to help their mental health if it's not your job where you have to. You have the choice if you want to as the AFL to help them. But it's not like mandatory thing. You don't have to help their mental state. That's mainly up to the person. As I said, if you want to, feel free. And I know they're not even gonna see this, I don't even know why I'm saying that as if they're gonna see this. But I just want to make clear that I have nothing against the AFL uh, helping people with mental health issues. I have against people who are saying they don't do enough to help them when it's not their job. So, back to Man Jack Door. I hope he has a speedy recovery. I hope he can get back this season. I don't know if he can. I don't know how badly he shows his pelvis. I don't, I'll check for you right now. Okay, so as far as I've seen so far, there's no one that actually has said how long he will be out for, whether he'll be back for the start of the season. I would say he'd miss the first few rounds minimum. I'm not sure how bad a pelvis injury is, but there was a kid at school who just fractured his ilium and he was in a wheelchair for months. So obviously they have better doctors and stuff to get it moving faster. But how long does it take for the season? It's about. Four months, five months, no, actually probably less than five months. So he, he probably actually, I think like he probably will be back. Not sure if he'll be in full fitness, so he might not play anyway. 
probably won't take them long to get him back to fitness though, so... He probably will be back, but... Because you can, you can just get one of those like special air machine running things where it's like lifts them in the air and they run and gets their fitness back without having to put weight on them. They do that for when they get injured so they can keep fit after they've got a decent way through the um, rehab. So if you want to know more about what happened with Magic Door, one you can go on the internet, but basically what happened is somewhere in Melbourne I think it was, he was just out with mates or teammates or something. And afterwards, I don't know why he was on the bridge in the first place, but he decided to take a jump off. Don't remember what bridge. So decided to just take a plunge off it into the water. And I believe it was a suicide attempt. But all he did was um, shatter his ilium. I hope you help us. I hope he's able to come back from whatever's going on in his life. Um, so I've got anything up to say. This has been JDS. Oh wait, no. We're going to something else. I'll make, make it up a video, don't worry. It's been JDS. Thanks and bye.